Well, as most new producers um, would tell you, the best way to learn or how they start off is trying to copy them, their influences. Um, and that's maybe the best way to learn how to how to make tracks. Um, or maybe it's just a homage, you know, to their favourite producers. So that's what I did with FYF. I mean, in terms of plugins and stuff that I used for for this track, um, it's all in the box Ableton stuff. It's literally that easy. I find Ableton very intuitive program. I mean, for years and years I was scared of it because I thought it was probably too complicated. And then during the lockdown, I thought, you know what, fuck it. It's, it's, I'm going to just get involved in it and just give it like give it a shot. And I found it. I wouldn't say it's easy. I'm learning every day about Ableton, but like literally all the drums in this are in the box Ableton drum kits, you know? Um, but, and then I've used some samples. Um, I've used some delays, which are also in the box Ableton. A couple of bits on the master, like um, Ozone Isotope. And I think a de on the on the vocal. And it's really, it's a simple track, man. It's, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven channels. So my starting point with uh, Face to Fate was kind of like some DMZ style drums. DMZ are a very famous um, dubstep um, group and to compare myself to them would be Blood Smoke Up My Own Arse. Um, but it kind of sounds like, it's a kind of conga pattern. It sounds like a bit like this. Then from there, um, I added some kind of grime-ish distorted drums. We say the and also a Keith Tucker vocal. Um, Keith Tucker is a very famous Detroit electro producer and um, the track name comes from his a cappella called Face Your Fate. So I added that over these drums. These ones. For the bass we shall compete. Pit the strong against the weak. We're the future sons of bass. And then from there, I think I sampled something that um, Scream sent me, like a, just a micro sample of like Mean Scream over uh, the pandemic, were swapping like lots of parts and stuff, um, and producing lots of music together. And I took a tiny little bit of something. I think he made it on the Triton, which is classic synthesizer, which was like made to use a lot of grime music. Um, and I used that for the drop, which is here. So. Send no Kleenex for the tears. And then I, at the drop you'll hear there's uh, the garage influence, which was like, um, basically I had a sample, a garage sample, and then I recreated it by um, basically just lining up different the different samples to match the groove of the original garage sample, which is fucking difficult, man, because garage swing's really hard to imitate. Um, and then, from there, that goes on for a bit, maybe a wee bit too long. That's probably why everyone's asked me to make a radio edit. Uh, from there, I've tried to make it a crescendo that wasn't too cheesy. Um, I don't know if everyone will agree with me, but it kind of goes like this. And then at the drop, I sampled like one of my favourite ever garage tunes. Well, it was actually an Armin Van Helden remix of Kim English Nightlife. So after that drop here. I gotta find my way back. Put a delay on it. Graham. A 
everything everything done just in Ableton. That's it. No fancy plugins, nothing. And that's literally how easy it is if you want to get started in Ableton. You know what I mean? Don't be scared as I was and just go for it. Be creative. <laughs>